Hi everyone, my name is Carmen from New Leaf Designs and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to crochet a foundation double crochet. That's foundation double crochet for US terms and foundation treble for UK terms. In this video I'm using the yarn Scapius Scrumptious, which you can buy via the link in the video description. If you like this video you can subscribe to my channel and you can give this video a thumbs up. The foundation double crochet is an amazing technique because you don't need to crochet a lot of chain stitches before crocheting double crochets into that. Uh, we do need to make three chains to get to the correct height for our double crochets. Just three chains. And then we will crochet our next double crochet into the third chain from the hook. I'm going to put the yarn over my needle, insert into that third chain from the hook, and now we are first going to create the chain to serve as the foundation for our stitch. So we are going to yarn over, pull through, and then we are going to make the chain stitch. And now we can finish our double crochet. From our second or from our first real double crochet onwards, we are not crocheting into a chain but into the base of this stitch. And you will see two loops here, and you want to go through both of them. So it's at the base of this stitch. We yarn over first and go through both of those loops yarn over and pull through, make the chain stitch, and now you complete the double crochet. Yarn over, insert into both loops, yarn over, pull through, make that chain stitch, and complete the double crochet. I'll show you a couple more times. So you yarn over, Insert through both loops, pull up a loop, do a chain stitch, and finish that double crochet. Now, the most common problem is that the foundation will be tighter than the top of the stitch. And what you can do in that case is while, while creating the chain is to make this chain stitch a bit larger than you would usually do. And now while completing the double crochet, I am holding on to that chain stitch so that it doesn't lose any of that um, length. So I'm holding on to it and then I'm completing the double crochet. like that. And if you were to only insert into that one loop, let me show you what that would look like. It would look like this. The bottom would be very open, very stretchy, and the foundation is usually wider than the top of the stitch, whereas if you go through both loops, not only does it look neater, but also the top and the bottom will be roughly of the same length. So another time you yarn over, go through both loops, pull up a loop, make that chain stitch, and then complete the double crochet. And this is a great technique to learn um, if you're making up your own pattern and you don't exactly know how many stitches you will need. Or perhaps you're following a pattern but with a different yarn and you're not really sure if the pattern will work with the number of stitches stated. And then you can just crochet until the width that you need 
and you won't have any chain stitches left over or um, sometimes you will have too few chain stitches and you will have to start over again. So the foundation double crochet is a great technique to learn and I hope this video helped you with that and I also hope to see you in another video of mine. Happy crocheting!